please be seated. In Melbourne's West, council meetings can get pretty personal. Josh Gilligan is a flog. I think my food. I'm only repeating what I've heard from others. If I'm a flog for defending their families and them, you know what? I'm a proud flog. And in the North, the legal bill for dealing with internal complaints has been revealed. We're looking at $142,000 of ratepayers' money, which has basically gone down the gurgler. For what? That's for handling 22 complaints, mostly from one councillor, since 2020. Going through that complaints process, it can be a very traumatic and upsetting period. That process could be about to get an overhaul. A report commissioned by the state government has found the process for dealing with complaints within council is difficult to navigate and overly legalistic. The report into council culture heard from nearly 150 people, including mayors and councillors, and found bad behaviour is a problem. It is quite a sad thing that so much time gets spent on one or two individuals and the way they are behaving. The report found nearly a quarter of submissions raised concerns over the management of poor behaviour. 37% raised issues with how councillors use social media and more than half wanted better training for councillors. There are also concerns about diversity. Nearly half of Victoria's councillors are women, but on the Mornington Peninsula, out of 29 mayors, six have been women, six have been called David. People are quite shocked. They're like, that's a really interesting stat and obviously reflects the issues with gender representation at a political level. Another issue is how much councillors should be paid. At the moment, the base allowance for a councillor is between about $24,000 and $54,000 a year. And for a mayor, it's between about $74,000 and $240,000 a year, depending on the council. It can be a, uh, you know, a 30 to 50 hour week depending on what is going on. Uh, it's not necessarily family friendly and it does not pay well at all. Advocates want the community to understand councils do much more than roads, rubbish and rates. These are multi-million dollar service delivery businesses that employ thousands of staff uh, and manage significant budgets. The state government says it's up to local governments to act on the culture report. Margaret Paul, ABC News, Melbourne.